everyone, my name is Monica Fonseca and I'm doing discussion 5, activity 2, which is oxygenated blood going from the left ventricle to the pollux. The pollux is a thumb. So I have this diagram here and we're going to start at the left ventricle in this region right here. And it's going to go 1 to the aorta arch, this arch right here. As that moves along up we have the brachiocephalic trunk and as that moves further along below the clavicle we have the right subclavian artery and then um, as that moves further down in the axilla uh, we have the axillary artery which is basically the armpit. Um, as that moves along here in the arm we have the brachial artery. And because we're going to go to the pollux, uh, as that moves along here, it's the radial artery. If we had been talking about the uh, pinky, then it would have been the ulnar artery. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is basically, it's all the subclavian, it just depends on the region, um, and that's why the names change, basically. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>